All right, this is a game that I call Mega Goal Hockey. Play it with third, fourth, and fifth graders. Um, each one of these, each one of these squares here, here, and here represent the Nets. Six different goals, and then obviously each one of these stars represents the teams, the players at each goal. So this is a team, this is a team, and this is a team, and so on. And the object of the game is you can play it one of two different ways. Is um, each one way, we'll just do it now. One way is that each team has one hockey stick, working on hockey skills. On the signal, um, if you want to play it this way, the first person from each team with their hockey stick would run out, grab one of these balls, okay, and all these balls here. Um, all these different colored dots here represent any type of ball that you would want um, to practice with. Like I use fleece balls, yarn balls, I use tennis balls, um, anything that obviously they can use to try and score a goal. So the first person on the signal would run with their, run with their hockey stick and then grab a ball with their hockey stick, cannot touch the ball with their hand, and they must practice dribbling the ball that they've chosen back and try to attempt a shot into their goal here, into this goal. Okay, now obviously I have different shooting lines for the students. Um, they can't cross the free throw line, for instance. You can use whatever different type of mark or shooting area that you would want. Uh, sometimes I use poly spots, so they can go to a different color and try to attempt a different angled shot, things like that. Um, if they make the goal, if the ball goes in the goal, it stays. And their, their ball stays in there. So essentially, the goal of each team is trying to score and obtain as many objects, or in this case, balls, as they can before the time is up. After a minute or so, or two minutes, I blow the whistle and everybody stops, and then we count. And so... If this team has six, this team has seven, eight, four, three, or two, then obviously the team with eight would be the one that wins, okay? And that's how it works this way, is that you could have one hockey stick per person and they can do it in relay style. Or you can do it this way, which I've seen it done and I put it on the blog, is um, each person has their own hockey stick. Now this is a little bit more challenging, a little bit more chaotic. Um, you know, it works with your students. Each person has a hockey stick. And on the signal, every single one of the students from each team goes and obtains the ball at the same time. So on that signal, okay, this person, for instance, let's do this team. This person would want to go grab a ball. Okay, and then this one would go grab this one. And then this guy could go all the way over here, grab this one. And this person could go all the way over here and grab this one. Okay, so essentially they're moving all at the same time and they have to dribble their ball back and go to the shooting line and try and score a goal. If they do not make it, if they do not make their goal, okay, then they must dribble the ball back to the middle and a, try it again okay um, they can either keep the same ball if they would like or they can try it and get a different colored ball if they want i kind of leave it up to them um, i did forget to mention though when if you do it relay style and if you were to do it relay style and the student dribbles the ball and misses their goal they must dribble the ball back to the circle and then they have to run back, give their hockey stick to the next person in line. And that's if you do it relay style. Again, I call this mega goal hockey. And then after each round, each group rotates to different nets. Okay, each one ro rotates to different nets. So then this group, okay, this group would rotate to this net. Okay, and then this group would rotate to this net. And then this group would rotate to this net, and you get the idea. And then this group rotates to this net. The reason I do that is so that each team gets different type of nets to shoot at, depending on the size of your gym. For instance, uh, the students here who are at this goal, 
the students at this goal here, if they were here, have kind of a shorter distance to go to try and score. So everybody gets a different length to try and shoot their goal. Again, this is Mega Goal Hockey, um, and I hope you enjoy this game idea. More information will be on the blog. Thanks.